Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how I took my walk around camera, the Fuji X100T, and modified it to fit my exact street photography needs. If shooting experience is something that you consider important, you might find this really interesting. Let's dive in. I started my journey with the Fujifilm X100 series back when they introduced the X100S. It was a small camera that I really enjoyed carrying around, uh, obviously due to its size factor and the fact that I could put it right into my coat pocket. It was easy, the quality was good, and it had a 35mm equivalent lens, which is basically my favorite focal length. As a professional photographer who shoots for a living, I quickly got to a point where I just didn't want to take those big cameras around with me. The large DSLRs with the heavy lenses, you cannot shoot discreetly. I just, it didn't make me, it didn't make me interested in, in shooting for pleasure. And that's really when those high quality compact cameras come into play. You still can get the quality that you're after. And if you combine the shooting experience, if it fits your needs, it's, it's just such a no-brainer. And really when I think about it, the X100 series uh, was a determined factor in me eventually switching my whole system uh, from Canon to Fujifilm. Now without turning this video into a Fujifilm ad, I just wanted to give you a brief background of why I enjoy shooting these cameras to begin with. Now, as I've mentioned in some of my previous videos, I'm not really a purist. So for me, digital or analog, I really enjoy both. I shoot with the uh, Fujifilm X100T. I also have my um, Leica M6 that I use occasionally, especially with black and white film. Uh, but it's really not about this or that or the war between analog and digital. It's more about finding points of convenience that allow me to get to the results that I'm looking for. While I really love shooting with my Leica M6, it's an incredible camera, the one Leica camera that I've always obsessed about was the Leica MD. If you're not sure which one that is, it's basically a Leica camera body with no preview screen on the back. To some people that might sound like a crazy idea, buying a digital camera with no preview screen, why? But for other people, myself included, it's really about regaining that shooting experience that you get by shooting analog. The thing about the Leica MD though is that it is expensive. While it's one thing to try to justify that expense for equipment that is gonna be used for professional purposes, it's another thing to um, justify that kind of expense for a camera that is gonna be used for personal work. So while I was trying to come up with a solution of getting that Leica MD shooting experience with the current equipment that I have and love, I figured out a way to modify my Fuji X100T to act the same as the Leica MD, a poor man's Leica MD, and, and give me the same shooting experience that I'm, that I'm interested in so much. So what I've decided to do instead of spending six to $9,000 on a brand new Leica MD or used Leica MD was to actually convert my Fuji X100T in a way that will give me the same shooting experience and that was blocking the preview screen. As you can see, the preview screen is blocked but it's not taped or anything. It has a beautiful piece of leather to make it look like it came out of the factory like that. Actually, with the frame around it, it makes it look like a proper film back. Now, this might seem a little silly to some people, but again, for me, the shooting experience is something that is extremely important and again, acts as motivation to go out and, uh, and shoot. When I go out to shoot street or even just anywhere, I have my walk around camera with me and that means that if I come across something I want to photograph, I can really focus on what is happening in front of my eyes as opposed to trying to do this in-camera curation selection process that we sometimes do. You know, we get excited, we want to see the photos immediately, but sometimes we take the time to look at the photos and whatever we were photographing was happening in front of us is over. Now mind you, obviously the quality is going to be different. It's a different camera, different lenses. It really is a different 
um, tool altogether. But if we go back to the shooting experience, this camera modified like that gets a bit closer to what you would get with the Leica MD. So how did I modify this camera? Well, basically I spent $15 buying um, leather self-adhesive strips on Amazon, as well as a two pack of screen protectors specifically for the screen size of the Fuji X100T. The first step was to take one of those leather strips and cut it to size to match the screen protector. I then applied the screen protector on the screen, made sure that there are no bubbles, and then I peeled the adhesive side of the leather strip and put it right on the screen protector. This way I don't have to deal with any glue residue or any kind of damage to the screen by putting the leather uh, adhesive strip right on top of the screen. I have a screen protector that acts as a protective layer between the screen and the leather. And if I ever wish to remove it, all I have to do is peel it back. Now that's all in theory. I just made that modification about a week ago and so far it's holding up. I've been going out with the camera and banging it around a little bit and it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. So I think that's actually a pretty good solution. As you can see in the video, I could have been a bit more careful with how I cut and how straight my lines were, but this really was an experiment. I didn't even know if it was gonna work, but it seems to have worked well and I'm actually pretty happy with the results. Before we move on, please take a quick moment to hit the like button on the bottom and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with future videos. Your support really helps the channel grow. Now, while I was making that modification, my brain was just racing with ideas on how to get even closer to that analog photography shooting experience with this tiny digital camera. And one of the ideas that I came up with was pulling a really old SD card that is just two gigabytes in size and actually throw in a big file that is not a photo file, just any file that um, cuts, it, cuts the size, the capacity in half. And by that, I somehow managed to get the card to only have 36 um, room for 36 frames on it. Now that might seem a bit extreme for some people, but for me, again, it's the enjoyment of the limitations of the tool in so many ways make you such a better photographer. The more you have to think about in terms of options and settings and the endless possibilities, sometimes that actually uh, doesn't really help your photography, your process and the way you shoot. So I've actually done a bunch of research online and haven't seen anyone modifying their camera in such a way, which is pretty surprising to me since I know there's a huge following and niche interest in the Leica MD and similar cameras shooting experience. So I was quite surprised that I haven't seen that kind of modification around online. Now you might ask yourself, does this screen modification really make sense? You can argue that if you don't want to look at the photos on the preview screen, you just don't have to press the play button. But I think with the way digital photography is and the way we've been getting used to shooting digitally, it almost became a muscle memory thing to, uh, you know, take some photos, look at the results. This is why digital um, works for so many people, especially from a professional point of view, when you want to make sure that you're getting the right results. To me, it's, it's about eliminating all the temptations. I know that I can, in theory, not press the button, but I will most likely still press the button even if I thought about it really hard. So blocking the screen off completely just leaves me no choices. Let me know if you're gonna give this a go. I would love to hear your thoughts, both about the modification process and also the results of shooting in that way. Thanks so much for joining. I'll see you guys next time.